The first step to solving problems in MATLAB usually requires defining variables. For example, suppose we need to evaluate this expression for different values of x and save the results to use later. You might guess that we use the equal sign to create a variable, and that's exactly right. The equal sign is referred to as the assignment operator since it assigns value to the variable. Giving variables descriptive names helps us remember their meaning, but there are a few important rules we must follow. Variable names must start with a letter and can contain only letters, numbers, and underscores. Variable names are also case sensitive. Take a moment and try identifying the valid variable names in this list. We see that both B and D are valid names, but A violates Rule 1 and C violates Rule 2. Now, back to that expression we need to evaluate. Variables are useful because they're stored in memory, so let's create a new variable, Y1, using the existing variable, X. The expression to the right of the assignment operator is evaluated using the current value of x. Then the result is assigned to the variable. Notice that y1 is in memory, but the result was not displayed. That's because we ended the statement with a semicolon, which prevents output from being shown. Now suppose we need to find y when x is equal to pi. We could create a variable named pi. But to be accurate, we need to remember pi to many decimal places. No problem. Pi is so commonly used that it is already included in MATLAB. So, we don't have to define pi to use it in calculations. Notice anything different about this last expression? We didn't use the assignment operator, but the result was stored in the variable ants. The name ANTS is used by default to store a result when we don't use the assignment operator. Create a few variables in MATLAB yourself. For example, try creating a variable y2 that's the value of the function when x is equal to 2.